My name is Gertie. I was made by Ellen Motion and I live in the Crystal Robotics Lab. The work I'm being used for is to study gestures that go with what I'm saying. If you watch people when they speak, you can see they use gestures like I do. They aim for the robot to communicate with the person in a human-like way, so they can understand each other and cooperate. But he is a, a full-scale humanoid robot, so he's built to have um, joint dexterity and proportions uh, as close as possible to a human, right from, all the way from his gross joints, like his shoulder and his elbow, all the way down to the joints in his hand, so that he can move around and do gestures appropriate for speech. Go. You will. One, two, go. I will. It's a draw. I win. It's a draw. I win. It's random, and anybody that you play against, if it becomes a very psychological game. And at this point in time, Bertie's advantage, I guess, is that he doesn't try and pre-guess what we're going to do. He doesn't get bogged down in the psychology. He's just a one-track mind that he will win. So I sometimes think he cheats a little bit, though, because you've got to understand that this glove has to go through him for him to understand what's working, so maybe there's a little bit of Bertie coercion going on. You possibly can outwit with the robot to some degree because if you know something about computer random number generators, um, which are very unlikely um, to generate the same thing more than, more than one, one once so it's not going to do the same thing twice in a row so you can probably if you actually think about it quite hard um, guess roughly what the robot's going to do because it's only got a choice of two really after having done the previous one um, so you probably can outwit the robot if you, if you, uh, if you try If you get somebody who's had a stroke fast enough, then if you add manipulation back to their arms, then they can regain some of the movement that they would have lost. Now, with something like this, maybe you could use him as a very accurate means of manipulating somebody into position. So, medically, he has got a use there. This means that they use humanoid robots like me. The scientists think that human-like robots should behave in a human-like way. And there are a lot of different projects investigating this idea. You win. It's a draw.